Hey, welcome to the program, everybody. Today, my guest for the full hour is Mr. Chase Sexton. Yeah. Of the Addicts. Hey, that's How's me. How's it going, dude? It's going good, dude. Just two dudes sitting in a room, looking at each other. Looking deep into each other's eyes, trying to think of something to say. That's the only thing I've ever wanted, which you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. So so uh, I know you, uh, you and, and Jeffrey... Joffrey were on before. Yep. Um, but give give the explain to the folks at home who might not know uh, what the Addicts is all about. Okay, so we do a uh, YouTube gaming channel, just like a small time thing. Which the main goal of it was to push social and comedy boundaries. You know, mostly brought by Jeffrey himself. Originally, it was just us playing games. It yeah. was just us sitting together, and uh, I remember one night we were just sitting in the dorm room and we were like, hey. I found this program on the computer that we can use to record off of my laptop. And my laptop has a webcam, so why don't we do what everybody else is doing? Right. You know, and if they don't like it, like if we don't get viewers, that's fine. Well, we can at least yeah. <laughs> put it on YouTube right. and laugh at ourselves in 20 years. Right. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to learn about all that stuff. You know, it's so funny because, uh, like, I've been thinking about making reaction videos or something like that. Uh -huh. And, um,. So you start, your, your first thought is, I want to make a reaction video. And then you start learning things that are like, oh man, my first thought should have been, how do I convert MP4 to AVI? You know? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you know, it's kind of like, you got to get comfortable in front of the mic mm -hmm. and in front of the camera. And that's probably number one. Because if you're not entertaining, then, right. you know, you're not going to go anywhere. Right. Um, the second thing is probably getting your sound quality up and then your vi video quality. And then from there, you kind of focus on all of like the little small things like settings. Like, right. I'm still learning new stuff. Like I'm putting myself through all of the tutorials on Adobe just to make sure that I can put all these videos together in just, a format that works. I, I'm just working with what I can find on the internet, you know, freedom fighter style. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, oh shit. Your mic is cranked. All right. There you go. Oh, boy. That's okay. We'll have to edit that later. <laughs> it's like my new favorite on-running joke in the podcast. I'll say, oh, I'll edit that later, and it just gets left <laughs> in. <laughs> it just stays in. I'm like, man, that was really loud. <laughs> Shit. Boom, yeah. So uh, so people in the past look out. There's something coming at you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All the people who have just started listening um, five minutes ago, there will be a, a, a big pop coming that, from the number one microphone <laughs> that's that i mean that's funny to think about because who starts a youtube video two minutes in <laughs> you got no one yeah. no you never do <laughs> no that, that's that's well i i hear i have an answer uh now google is getting so smart with its ai that uh if you like i was learning how to do this the the video overlay uh -huh. And that's when I realized I had to do MP4 to AVI. Yep. And so <clears throat> I typed in what, what what was the initial thing I was looking for? I think it was just like how to overlay one video on top of the other. Uh -huh. And so Google brought up a video that somebody had posted on YouTube, but it it hit you with a specific time frame. Yeah. To and it says they here's, do that now. Yeah, they're like here's where they talk about your question in this video. Whoa, That's Google! Pretty, Google's that, on some yeah. shit, dude. <laughs> I was gonna say, Ray, Google's way ahead of its time. Ray Kerweasel or whatever his name is. I was playing this game, this this card game. Um, oh, Bard. sorry. Uh, real quick, to but before before you say whatever you were just gonna say, <laughs> <laughs> um, you do you guys use emulators or do you guys use the the thing that you plug into your game system? Oh, we use the thing. Well, it's called Nogato. An Ogato. Uh -huh. right we on. use the HD 60 version, so it captures everything at HD 60 frames per second. Right on. Um, so that's what we use for the computer now. That's what we use for my PS4. And we haven't really done Xbox, mm -hmm. but I'm sure it could work with that, too. Right. Have you have you guys tried emulators before? No, not really. Well, because um, I was watching you guys' videos the other day, and uh, Jeff and somebody who i haven't met yet we're playing spider-man 64. oh my god oh that was dom dom was a uh, roommate of jeff's mm. at a time uh he doesn't like when i call him jeff so i'll call him jeffrey 
Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, dude. I, you I, got I, me doing it. Well, I've been, I've been, uh, I've been having a, a bad, a string of bad luck with um, nicknaming people. Uh-huh. Like um, Brittany's younger brother's name is Zach. Uh huh. Zach Attack, naturally. Yeah. And uh, he was cool with it, but then the other day he uh, just brought it up in casual conversation. And he was like. Uh, I hate it when people call me uh, Zach Attack, and I just want to be like, so you're just going to let me be a fucking asshole? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's not my fault at you that point. I feel bad yeah. because you got my name wrong, but I didn't tell you about it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, that was Dom. So he was with um, Jeffrey and his brother and Johnny Boy at a time. And that kid was a nut. Like, you could just Dom. tell. Yeah. Yeah. And he. Uh, like he had, he had some problems, but at the same time he was like the <laughs> kindest soul ever. Yeah. But getting him in front of the camera, like we have that trouble with a lot of newcomers onto mm-hmm. the show, a lot of guests. You, you the, know what I'm you know what I'm finding? I am comfortable in front of the camera, but this is just you know the 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 you know the dead eyes thing is who <laughs> yeah. I am. You know, <laughs> you know when people are like relax, I'm like. I am. You know, it's like I, I try and like lower my shoulders more or something. <laughs> <laughs> Take like a few deep breaths. <laughs> Which is funny on a podcast because nobody's going to notice that. Right. Nobody's going to pick that up. Right. Well, I, I'm, I'm switching to video because, dude, I got Adele because my last laptop Really? Got she's fried. here? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. She's right here. Oh, man. Say something to the people, Adele. Hello. Was it me you're looking for? <laughs> is that a different song? That's yes, a <laughs> that's a different song. Um, hers was the Hello from the uh, from, from the, the other, other side. <laughs> that one. <laughs> uh, but no, I, so I my Asus crashed. The motherboard uh-huh. just crashed, and so the Geek Squad uh, was a uh, they they were the Geek Squad. So I told them to go fuck themselves. <laughs> like, yep. Quite literally, you could tell the guy had never heard that before in his life in a professional setting. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he was geez. he was like, well, you need to make an appointment. And I was like, dude, I'm just here to pick up my fucking laptop. Like, <laughs> it's it's dead. You guys have transferred the data. I paid for it already. I just want my shit. You sent me an email. I thought that counted as an appointment. Mm-hmm. And he was like, sir, I'm gonna I'm gonna let somebody else help you. And I was like, that's probably good. <laughs> and then uh, I'm done with you. Well, then his his supervisor or something like that came out, and the guy whispered in his ear, probably like, ah, guys, a I guess a fucking asshole. <laughs> I can't but, imagine anybody saying that about you. <laughs> well, sh- well, true, sure enough. But at the same time, I was just there to pick up my shit. <laughs> yeah, true. And so the second guy got that, you know, and, uh-huh. and he was like, "Oh, I'm, uh, sorry about your trouble. Here's your stuff. Uh, you know, thanks for doing business with Geek Squad, or whatever." And you know, it was just like in and out, you know. Yep. And the, the other guy was all about protocol, and I was just like, "Dude." What do you get, like, points for, you know? <laughs> yeah, what are you, a computer system in a human body? Yeah, no, I, I mean, just when whenever people are like, well, you need to set up an appointment, it's like, I'm right fucking here. <laughs> can we, okay, can we set that up from 30 seconds so, yeah, from now? Yeah, it's like, all right, I need... I could go get a donut and come back, you know? Right. Even like... that's a little tough for my schedule, but we can make it work. <laughs> all right, so you guys use the thing when you're... That, that was what, what all that spun out of. Uh-huh. But, um... Uh, Oh yeah, so the, uh, what I was saying is this might switch to video because the the webcam on this is a little less shitty than the than the one in the Asus, mm-hmm. um, and so I've I've been like testing it out, going live and stuff like that on Facebook. So I think I'm uh, I think we either might we might start filming it and then putting it up later, or we might just start live streaming, or we might do Ooh. both. You know, like you can how- always live stream <clears throat> and then capture that video and put it up. Oh really? You yeah. don't have to publish it right away oh yeah you were you were telling me that mm-hmm. that's cool yeah so people can log on right when you're doing this at nine in the morning on mm-hmm. sunday yeah when people are most likely not to view it because they're sleeping now does that generate an rss feed or is that strictly youtube um i'm not sure hmm yeah i've been that's something i've been because i the, one of the things on my to-do list is to get this on itunes and I mean, I know how to get music on iTunes. Like, it, that's like click, 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 you know? Uh-huh. But for some reason, I can't figure out how to get the podcast on there. But um, Is there a process behind uh, copywriting your own music and stuff? Um, yeah. Well, I mean, they're like... Like, is it easy or is it difficult? Well, 
it's I, I haven't ever done it like officially if, officially I've done poor man's copyright which is basically like you send the, the the written music to yourself in the mail and when it gets the federal stamp it's a federal document no way yeah that's so, such a cheap way to do it. yeah <laughs> versus versus paying like hundreds of thousands of dollars to get every single one of your songs like ascap bmi or whatever mm -hmm. um also like and i was talking i can't remember who i was talking to about this somebody who is a, a professional they were saying when you put copyright on something mm -hmm. that's like that's enough of a copy like, you know what i mean I'm, like i'm sh i don't think that's right well it's they the, what they were saying was if it says copyright and somebody jacks it and you can prove that they jacked it and you can say that it said copyright on there somewhere uh -huh. that's at least enough of a defense to be like that's intellectual property you can't take that from yeah me. like if you were to bring that in front of a court and be like your honor listen to this <laughs> and listen to this look at this little c inside the circle a judge wouldn't like look at the the handbook <clears throat> like the rule book and be like hmm well i imagine uh, there would be some paperwork behind that at least they'd be like show me <clears throat> show me where you signed up for this copyright mm -hmm. and he's like well actually i just went into adobe and there, put I mean, this there, little marker right here and boop there you go well there um what was i listening oh remember uh, did did you ever see tusk no. Uh, Kevin Smith's Tusk. Kevin Smith. No. Well, he um, that came from a podcast idea. Like the movie that he made, literally germinated from this podcast that he did, where they found a what it was is they found a letter. No, somebody okay. somebody wrote in to the show and they found a letter, and it said like, "I'm an old man and I've lived a long and storied life, and um, I live in a mansion and I'm all by myself, and I would love to allow one person the opportunity to come live rent free in this, you know." So like Willy Wonka or Keanu Reeves for yeah for like twenty to thirty somethings, okay. you know, just okay. like oh, free place to live, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah. And so he said, the only, the only thing is that, uh, at one point during my travels, I was shipwrecked on an island and my only companion was this walrus named Gregory. And so you can live rent free in my house, but every once in a while, or like, uh, what is it? Once a week for an hour, I need you to dress up in this, uh, walrus costume and I'm, you know, you can't speak and I'm going to, you know, feed you fish and I'm going to pet you and talk to you like you're Gregory, like we're on the Island again. That's weird. Yeah. And so that's exactly <laughs> what they said. And so they started, you know, because they're sto they're great storytellers. He and Scott Mosier, they start spinning the, the web and they, they end up coming up with this story where it's actually like a horror movie they're like oh yeah come live in my house for free and they're like holy shit they're gonna turn this guy into a fucking wall <laughs> like and so yeah and so kevin smith made like a a total like rubber monster horror movie out of this story i have heard about that yeah and Ooh. and on the and on the podcast he says um hey real quick check your mic check 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 hey, you're you're a little little low little, little low Little high, little low. There you go. That's good. That's oh, good. yeah. Yeah, we'll just compress this. We'll edit it later. <laughs> we'll <just laughs> it's going to sound like absolute yeah. garbage and trash. <laughs> we'll just bring it. We'll compress it all the way down, and it'll have all the, like, squirrels. <laughs> like, you'll be able to hear the uh, the, the analog tubes of my uh, I don't want to hear your tubes, man. <laughs> the, of the I don't want to hear your... <laughs> Keep your tubes away from me. <laughs> So, uh, shit, what was, what was I saying? Before? Oh, so on the podcast, he says, oh, by the way, uh, copyright Scott, uh, Scott Mosier, Kevin Smith, because we're making this fucking movie or something like that. Okay. And I'm sure, I'm sure he like had an assistant go through the proper channels, but I bet anybody who is listening to that would hear that little like analog, you call it analog watermark. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and they'll just say, oh, well that, that was obviously his idea. And there's also the uh, the the whole um, recorded verbal agreement. You know what I mean? Like, so, well, you sit down with a microphone between two people and you say things like, out loud. Like a like a like a you can record your will and testament versus writing it down. Yes. Yeah. You so, know, when I went to the hospital, they asked me to do that. Oh no shit! Oh, did they, <laughs> was that before or after they told you how bad or good or bad it that was? was? That was before the results came oh, in oh, of shit. what I was doing. Oh my god! So I walk terrifying. in. 
I want. Oh, that's a funny story. So we're gonna go, go on a little it. track. Um, so my cousin may have overreacted just a bit, but I can see why. He has a uh, pregnant wife, and he has a uh, little toddler who's real, going on too. Real quick to catch uh, everybody up, you you were uh, gonna be on last Sunday. Yeah, I was and, gonna be on last and Sunday. You, you ended up being in the hospital. Yes. And uh, yeah, completely. In, in in my opinion. Didn't really have to be there, but, you know, I live in my cousin's house, and he's, you know, I texted him, I was like, dude, can you pick me up some soup and some Gatorade? I'm, I could barely walk, I got sent home from work, <laughs> and, like, quick as lightning, like, he texts back kind of quick, but this was, like, instantaneous. Right. He was like, dude, what's wrong? I was like, I would just barely walk, you know, I can, you know, just chilling out in my bed, hoping I don't get more sick. And he goes, do you have the flu? I said, I don't I'm not think a so. <laughs> I'm not a. Do- I'm looking at WebMD, and turns out I got elbow cancer and a dislocated <laughs> knee. <laughs> you have leprosy. <laughs> so I really don't know. And he's like, "Dude, you can't stay in my house. You need to go." Oh shit! I was like, "I live here." And he goes, "No, man. Look, look. I'm gonna make you see my point. I got a kid." Another kid on the way. This thing, this flu, this uh, influenza this year has been so bad. You know, vaccines aren't working. Um, <laughs> I really fear for the safety of my kids. So mm. y- you really got to find another place. And I kind of, I was just like, you know, it's your house. All right, bud. I'll, I'll do what you say. That's no sure. problem. You can. He talk- he calls me up like, at, you know. The second he gets home, and he says, do you have a plan? And I was like, well, I'm texting some of my friends to make sure I could get out of the house today. And he's like, that's fine. I already called your family. They're coming up from Pueblo. Oh, shit. <laughs> They're already on their way. I'm taking you to the ER. And I was like, whoa, what is happening? <laughs> he goes, oh, oh get the- show up in like a hazmat suit? <laughs> like <laughs> no, Breaking did. Bad style? <laughs> I was downstairs. He opened up every door, including the door outside and he stood over in the corner (laughs) holding his kid and he's like okay go outside go (laughs) and he was helping me out and he left the car door open for me so i didn't have to touch anything and i'm sitting there on the car ride he tells me cover your mouth (laughs) i was like what what is happening i feel awful i'm starting to feel even worse because it's getting in my head and so i'm sitting there with my you know with my like this, yeah, my, yeah, you know, yeah. I got my shirt over my, my like nose. Pre, pre Tony Stark Spider Man over here. And he's know? talking to me halfway through. He looks over and he's like, "Dude, what are you doing?" I was joking. Oh shit! And I was like, "Okay." So I take my <laughs> my shirt off and he's like, "But we're still taking you to the ER. Mm. I'm not going in with you. I'm, not- I'm going home to Lysol everything. You're on your own. Your brother's coming up. He's gonna pick you up." Jesus. So I'm sitting. I, I walk inside by myself. I walk up to the lady behind the glass because they have like a quarantined off emergency room glass case for the workers. Mm-hmm. I walk up there and I say, <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's like, how, can I help you? And I was like, uh, yeah. And I was thinking it through my head. I know how it's going to sound. And I just said it. I was like, I think I have the flu. And she gives me a look like, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You're in the emergency room. All right, fill out this paperwork. Uh, Here you go. Give right. me your ID, this, that. Sitting there for like two hours. You know, they make me put a mask on. Right. And uh, <laughs> so they finally get me back. They get me to a, a nurse. And I was joking around. And I was like, yeah, I'm here for the flu. You know, I'm, I live with a pregnant lady. And uh, finally, this guy comes in with a mobile computer with a mask on. And he's like, yeah, I'm just getting you through all your registry and your insurance. Um, by the way, do you have a last will and testament? Oh, shit. And I like, my brother got there by that point. He's sitting with me and he doesn't really know what's going on. Mm. And I'm, I look dead because I'm, because <laughs> I'm sick. But it's like, dude, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I look over at him and he looks at me. And I was like, sir, I'm 21. Yeah. I didn't think I'd need one at this point. And he goes, that's fine. That's fine. Just in case. And I was like, can I do this later? (laughs) He's like, but I saw the stereo in your car. (laughs) Just fingers crossed. Yeah, my brother's sitting right there and he's hoping like, hey, Chase, hey, you've been good. I've been good to you, right? (laughs) It's like, shit, man. They just stuck a probe up my nose to find out what I have. You haven't even gotten that back to me yet. You want to know what's going to be funny is... um. 
in the future, a will and testament is going to consist of people's files. So, like, their computer files? Yeah. You know, like, you, you'd imagine not, not 20 years ago, somebody would be like, and I leave my record collection to, if, if they were, uh -huh. if, if that meant enough to them to leave to somebody, you know what I mean? You get all of my illegal music. I don't care what the government <laughs> says. They can't take it away from you at this point. That's what, yeah, that's what <laughs> it's going to be. It's like, and I, and, and to my youngest brother, I bequeath my, uh, terabyte of MP3s that I've accumulated over the months of, if you promise to use the word bequeath inside of your will and testament, someone better get that exact will and testament. They better get the paper because right. that's worth it. And you hang that shit on a wall. Yeah, you have to write that shit with a feather. Bequeath. <laughs> oh, I feel like I should be drinking tea while I'm reading this. Be hang on a sec. It just goes and gets... He says, he can't make it through the word. He says, hang on a sec. Goes and gets a uh, puts a pot of tea on, puts a silly wit, like a... An English judge, <laughs> like judge wig. Yeah. <laughs> Can't say this word without T. To whom I bequeath. But who am I? What, what would be the past tense uh, of bequeath? Bequaffed. Bequaffed. <laughs> <laughs> or bequaffled. Bequ <laughs> I, yes, he bequaffled me. <laughs> to whom it may concern, I have bequaffled thine bequeathing. Because um, that uh, brings me back to when I first learned about smote. I thought that was the funniest shit. Oh, that's the past tense of smite. Smite. <laughs> he smote him. I thought it was smitted or smitten. I think it's actually he. I think it's actually smited, like in in real life. But whenever there's people, when, whenever there's not people around, it's a uh, smote. smote. For whenever me. there's no one to tell it to. <laughs> right. Whenever no one to hear it. <laughs> If a tree is smote in the forest, does anyone around to hear See, it? See, that's why I, I have thoughts like that, and I feel, I'm like, whoa, I'm, you know, I'm ready for uh, Alzheimer's. <laughs> I, I would make the most charming Alzheimer's sufferer. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would, I hope that I have enough intelligence at that point to just kind of, like, realize what's happening and just kind of go with it. Like, if somebody says, hey, do say you remember me? I'll be like... Of course! I haven't seen you since uh, the lean, last time I saw you. Lean the fuck into it. Um, <laughs> oh, I know who the fuck you are. I had a, a great-grandmother, as many of us do, um, who... <laughs> Everyone has one. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, she started to, to lose her, her memory when she got older. Aww. And um, I remember realizing at a young age that that's not so bad for the the person you know i mean it, yeah like, i don't know it can be yeah I, I i it depends on what kind of person you were mm -hmm. in, in when you were uh lucid but i remember she would walk in and, and she would say um she would say is this one of my grandkids and uh somebody would say yep and she'd be like hey how's it going Aww. you know obvi obviously she wouldn't you know hers wasn't as severe as maybe others, but I just remember seeing that when I was like maybe nine or 10 or whatever, and just being like, Oh, okay. So it's not like, I mean, it's not like, not horror. Yeah. It's, it's not like, well, I'm like I said, I'm sure there's worst case yeah. scenarios, but in her situation, I don't think she was like waking up going like, what the, fuck? Ah! you know? <laughs> yeah. But, well, yeah, that, that could be hard too. Cause I, I, I would imagine some that families. something like that would be difficult for like, war veterans or people who have seen some serious action you know to like yeah now like, have you ever seen the show black mirror yeah now have mm -hmm. you seen the one where the guy gets put into the game world he uh they implant a chip in him and it goes haywire oh yes but the, you know they tell him that um that one was horrifying to me that was probably <laughs> the best one yeah but they tell him this game is gonna get exceptionally more scary it's gonna read your mind and um, your fears are going to become reality mm. to you. You're going to see them in the world around you. And um, he had a dad that uh, had Alzheimer's and passed away recently. So he was kind of on the run, you know, mm. avoiding his family. Right. And um, so after the course of a little bit of time, um, he gets like deeper and deeper into the scary world. And right. then he starts losing his memory, and like you can see it, like the actor who plays it does it very well. 
Yeah. And he's just sitting there like, what's my name? Who are you? Who am I? Mm. And he gets so freaked out. And at that point, I realized, man, that, that's got to be pretty mm. dang severe. I can't even imagine not knowing who I am or, you know, all the things that led up to this <laughs> point of me being a human being. Um, <clears throat> a long time ago, I was in <clears throat> some kind of therapy. I don't know if it was psychologist, psychiatrist, whatever. But it was in tandem with this... Uh, this thing called tomatis tomatis therapy and so what okay. it, what it was is you would listen for about 45 minutes you would listen to gregorian chants at different filters through headphones <laughs> through headphones that had like a, a a a bump on them so it was supposed to like push down on your top uh plate on your cranium or whatever and so you're listening to this like oh but it's going it's Far over it's, the misty mountains <laughs> it's cold. switching between filters so it's like it, it sounds like a oh, oh you know just like going through all the different like band paths is that yeah. what happened to you <laughs> <laughs> maybe so <laughs> And then, uh, so there was that, and then there was like, I would, I would sit in a chair and put these glasses on and close my eyes and the glasses would have lights on them and they would flash a whole bunch. Whoa. I have no idea what it was supposed to do, but it, none of it was, none of it was unpleasant, but I never quite got what the end game was, you know? Yeah. Um, like they just didn't tell you or you were too young to I understand? I think I might've been a little too young to like comprehend the whole the entirety of it all but mm -hmm. like i remember oh today today is the one where they're gonna put the things the you know put the electrodes on my head and i have to keep the airplane in the middle of the screen oh you know what that's I mean? so crazy instead of having so like if, if if it was going like this i was doing a poor job and if it was staying in the middle i was doing a good job that's some stranger things kind of stuff I, but i didn't know what i was doing to like to make it move, you know, or yeah, yeah, and, it was like a concentration <clears throat> thing, right? I think, yeah, it's like a, it's like you focus this part of your brain and, and you can tell that you're doing that by keeping the plane straight. Mm -hmm. Um, anyway, so then I was, so there was all that in the therapy and, um, all right, what were, so you, you were talking about black mirror before the, the therapy and, uh, and Alzheimer's. And then, um, we went into, whoa, man. We go quick. Yeah. Um, I, I completely lost the point again. That's another yeah, recurring it, uh, theme. You, is, you yeah. just brought up something from your childhood that now I'm kind of concerned about that happened to you. <laughs> um, um, yeah, well, I don't know. I never had anything like that happen to me. One thing I did have happen was we went to the museum, the Science and History Museum up in mm. Denver uh, for a field trip, and they had a um, – like science of the body mm -hmm. type of exhibit and over in the corner they had a table and it was a little tube that had a ball in it and you put on the little headphones or, or the little electrode whatever's onto your head uh -huh. someone sits across from you does the same thing and you're supposed to concentrate and move the ball to the other side oh is it like a like a um like a bluetooth kind of thing or like a remote control sort of uh no, it was it was activated by brain waves. Oh, that's it was just well, a concentration thing. Right, right. But I mean from the headset to the ball, like what was the Just a wire. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, just like cable. Um So we tried it the way it's supposed to you know, concentrate and make sure the ball gets to the other person's uh -huh. side, which means you can you're smarter and you can laugh at them for the rest of your day because you're <laughs> fifth graders. Uh, <laughs> but uh me and Jeffrey, since we went to middle school together sat down and decided to do it the other way, which was try not to concentrate at all <laughs> and see who was dumber at that particular moment. And uh, I think it was like 50-50. Did, <laughs> did the ball like move sideways or anything? Yeah. yeah, like if it starts coming towards you at this point, it's good. <laughs> Instead of pushing it towards the other person's goal. And so you're like, come here, come here, come here. Wait, don't. Just, uh, butterflies. Uh, uh, people with legs as celery. Oh, there, there we go. That's a good one. <laughs> like, what are you, what are you thinking about right now? You're like, you don't want to know. I just want to win. C celery legs, <laughs> diapers full of Indian food. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of wonder about that too. Yeah, that that could be a kind of practice. Uh, going like, uh, what, what would that be? The opposite of uh, word association. Like you try to word 
disassociate. Yeah, well, you kind of disassociate from previous thoughts is how I would do it. You have one thought so quickly that you start going into, like, another thing that's completely different. It's Mm -hmm. actually really hard when you try and think about it. Right. So, so like, the the real way to do it would be, like, elephant, mouse, maybe. Or, you know, like... uh, Yeah, elephant, uh, mouse, um, steak... Rare. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's funny. Trees, leaves. Oh, uh, I, I will never do a steak well done again. I have a story about that, too. Oh, go for it. Um, but I forgot what I was just talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, so, yeah, instead of that, it'd be like elephant. Curtains. Cur- curtains, yeah. yeah. I think we could go further. Charlie, what about the letter A? Space. Of course it would be space. <laughs> Okay, well, what, what about was, space? Wait, 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 that, but, uh, that's that's interesting. I said space almost instantaneously. I think because there's a giant A sound in space. So so hit me hit me again. See if I can get get do a better job. Okay, well, letter A. Uh, see, oh, dude, I thought of guitar case. But that's that's awesome. I look, I look <laughs> All right, let me do it with the eyes closed. Okay, let's go with um, spaceship. Dog. Uh, Nimbus cloud. Oh, oh, that's, <laughs> that's, that's really that's really hard because well I thought of uh, Goku. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, hit you with some. Okay, try me, try me. Uh, curtains. Uh, people. Trees. Armageddon. Bomb. Stupid. Intelligent. Homophobic. <laughs> I don't know. No, that's very bad. That's very bad. No, we accept all and any people. Well, that's uh, what's what's funny about that is uh, I realized at least the opposite way to play the game is when you're asking somebody, you can just word associate off the last thing that they said. <laughs> that's hard. That was a, that was a bad example. People are gonna think I'm homophobic now. I don't think so. I hope not. Well, no, I don't think people, because I said intelligent, and you were trying to think of the most random, disassociated okay. thing, and you said homophobic, so okay. I think that you're in the clear. Okay, good. I don't um, know. Someone's going to, like, come on, come and listen to this show, and they're uh, going to, like, psychoanalyze dude, each I, of us. You know, I'm I'm 30 now, and I, I just, I literally don't have time for people who are word-based, like... If somebody just uh, says the word homophobic and that offends somebody, it's like fuck that person. <laughs> you know? it's, okay, it's so like, what you what you do rather than what you say. It's yeah, it's the context in which you are. I mean, be even beyond <clears throat> what you're the context because like a shitty person can say all the right words. You know what I mean? Yeah. And a and a good person can say all the wrong words. You know what I mean? And that's right that's words at the right time. <laughs> Roll with me, <laughs> uh, dude. Oh, that's a great fucking song. Oh man, that's classic. So, Michael, the uh, uh, keyboard player, I never know what he's gonna like and and not like. Like he's a little luke, lukewarm on the whole podcasting thing. Uh huh. Um, but he, especially uh, sorry, mu- musically, we'll we'll stick to musically. I'm not sure what he's gonna like if he's gonna think, oh, it's just too simple or repetitive or that's like if he hears a uh, i'm trying to think of something is he, he just does. so far out there in his likes and dislikes or well i random? mean he, he loves he loves classical like virtuoso piano music okay and i know he enjoys jazz i don't know if he if he reaches for any and he loves dream theater and stuff like that okay um so he he really likes the heavy hitting like heady kind of stuff um and, and so all, all of us in the band do, but I, I showed him an example of what I thought a good pop song was. And, um, it was that deep blue something, the look around the world, pretty oh, baby. Yeah. Look around the right. world, pretty baby. And he thought it was genius. Like he thought it was genius. Yeah. He was like, that's one of the best, you know, that's one of the most well-written pop songs I've heard in a really long time. And I was like, is Dude, that considered a pop song? Pop. Uh, in its time, yeah. Okay. Um, but I guess now you would call it like pop rock because there's no like. Eh, 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 <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> yeah. No hip hop. Dude, I. That makes sense. Yesterday I was driving in the car and I try to force myself to keep an ear to what's new as well as the stuff that I really like. Uh huh. So I was listening to Magic FM, and one song ended and it was like. <laughs> 
Oh, I love I love rolling drums and I love crazy guitar solos. Yeah, so it had the the boots and cats and going, uh -huh. and then it was like de do de do bam, and the, like while the last note was ringing out, the DJ was like, "That was blah 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 blah." And now here's the next song for blah 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 blah. Yeah, da doo da doo. Just like keeping it rolling, you know. <laughs> it's the exact same song but in reverse. Uh, Dan and I were talking about uh, pop songwriting is becoming so. Uh, childishly simplistic that soon if it doesn't exist already you're, there's going to be a software where you can just like hit the button you know how there's like emo lyric generators yeah there's going to be like pop song generators we were talking about that last time we were on the podcast oh did we you know, well because we read a whole like spiel oh yeah, yeah of yeah. shakespearean whatever and i remember i remember that i remember um and then we I remember having Jeffrey read some of my poetry. <laughs> oh my god, he loved that. That was uh that was fun. I might uh He wants to be on the show again. Yeah, well I was I was thinking that I would have um I would have you solo, then I would have him solo and uh and then have you maybe have you guys together again, you know, just kind of yeah. keep you know mix it up. But uh yeah, he did a great job doing that. I I was um I was literally thinking about, you know, cuz I was talking to you about putting together some kind of weird DVD music video. Yeah. Uh, just a segment where it just cuts to Jeffrey like inches away from the camera, like reading, uh, you know, hopefully from, oh, from memory, from memory, like some of that crazy ass, uh, day day or data poetry that I like to write from time to time. Oh my God. He would love that. He yeah. would do that in a heartbeat. Yeah. I might hit him up to do that. Um, oh, speaking of hitting people up to do things, um, the, uh, we, we gotta make the, or not, we gotta, but I, I would like to ask for your help uh, in making the 100 subscribers video. Oh, I'm down. And so I was thinking um, sometime after this, uh, I, would, I would call, because I think I, I've been doing research. Um, you have to call Nelson's Barbershop and uh, set up an appointment. Okay. So I was thinking that uh, you and I could um, bust out the schedules and see when uh, you and, is it Andrew? who uh, runs or who owns and operates the camera. Uh, Andrew has his own. I have my own now too. Oh, cool. Got right to do my other job with uh, super Dave. So, uh, yeah, I can, I can do anything by myself or with the other guys, whatever you want to cool. do. Yeah. I was just thinking about going in, um, and getting my beard trimmed at Nelson's getting like, you the, getting the gray squigglies. I like it though. Like, I like it too. It's, it's, it's like not, wizard it's, style. It's, yeah. It's not a, like I don't have a problem with uh you know the honestly the only thing that I don't like about um my beard is the mustache part cuz it, it curls you look like black beard Oh no check this out oh. Are you ready for this Oh this this will be super interesting to listen to <laughs> What He's curling his beard It just does that That's it just does. Yeah, <laughs> like, See I have a buddy who who does that too it's great. Yeah. It's the typical mustache mustache where it curls at the end and it has, uh -huh. it's got the little, foof in the middle. Little handlebar. Yeah. Yeah. So the only thing I don't like about the mustache is it prevents food from going. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, I'm trying to do one of the most basic human necessities right, right. here. Oh, I mean, you don't know awkward uh, irritation until you until you bite into your own beard while trying to eat a sandwich. <laughs> okay, so I don't know that, but I do know awkward irritation. Yeah. Let me tell you you're talking to the right guy. It's kind of like uh it's kind of like when you wear shoes, like when you re wear real shoes, not sandals, cuz that's the world that I live in, <laughs> but you you kind of bunch a, your sock up right here and for like <laughs> yeah. the first 15 minutes of your day you're just like an asshole or for me I'm just like don't fucking talk to me until until the sock like flattens <laughs> out, you know. <laughs> They're like, "What?" Usually, it's coffee or something that gets people going. But then this dude says sock. I went into work one day. I was having the worst day. Like, I swear, I thought I was gonna get fired, and uh, uh, I was not doing anything right. I was just swinging a miss on everything. I would I would think I'd be in the right, and my boss would be like, "Chase, why did you do it this way?" And I'd be like, "I can't tell you. I'm stupid." I am just stupid. And halfway yeah. <laughs> through the day, uh, I went up to one of my coworkers um, after, you know, refreshing myself in the restroom. And I said, uh, you're going to laugh at this because she's been watching me struggle all day. She's this nice older lady. I was like, you're going to laugh at this. My underpants have been on 
inside out the entire day. <laughs> and oh, she, oh, she was on the floor for like a minute or two minutes. And I was like, I, I swear, man, I knew something was up. I knew it. <laughs> I felt it in my drawers. Oh yeah, that's that's terrible. That's but you know for some people that's a uh, that's a survival tactic. You know, turn, some, your... T- turn your briefs around. <laughs> it's like when you can't afford to to get to the laundromat, you got to do the front back side side front front back back side side. Sir, <laughs> that's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> that is gross. I've never done that. Yeah, when Swamp I wear underwear nasty. for days on end, I just. Uh, I just wear them the right way for days on end. <laughs> and, uh, and, then, I, and then I light them on fire at the end of a week. <laughs> <laughs> the ozone doesn't want to smell that. You know, it's, you know, what's funny is a lot of the podcasters that I listen to, they're all, a lot of them are sponsored by me undies. And I was like, dude, that's fucking great. Like, you just get your underwear for three for a month, three months or whatever sent to you in one package. Uh-huh. And then you can literally like throw them away or keep them if you like, or you donate them to goodwill. Cause he, if you, if you're an underwear donating kind of guy, here's a thing that they have that you probably didn't want to know. They have <laughs> oh, no, here it goes. edible underpants. Oh, Oh, dude, that's everybody old school. knows. That's yeah. old school. Edible. But how <laughs> how long do you do they have a do they have an expiration date? Is oh, what yeah, I want to know. I definitely think that that's something that gets like your gal or guy or or what have you is like. Um, do you want to do, do you wanna... edible underpants? Like <laughs> tonight, you, you can't... tomorrow we can have real dinner. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you, you know you're having a, a romantic uh, interlude and and. Um, your partner asks you if you'd like to uh, try something new and, and you say, what'd you have in mind? And I think if you've never done it before, you'd have to like say, well, I bought some edible underwear rather than like, hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Don't worry. You can eat these. Oh, man. <laughs> thanks. Like, Gee, thanks. They've you been know? <laughs> on for a couple days, front, back, oh, side, man. side, right? Well, but I guess what I was saying is that's something that would get a- applied and then eaten within like the minute. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yes. like I would have strap to say that so. fruit roll up on, and then <laughs> <laughs> and then and then it would probably get, you know, removed. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but I, you know, I uh, I just can't do sticky. Like I, I remember <laughs> when I was when I was younger, like if my fingers got sticky, like from sap or something. My day was fucked. Like I, I just <laughs> You're like, like I, I, sitting there with the with the hot glue on your hands that you burned yourself with fifteen minutes ago, <laughs> and you're you're rolling it back and forth hoping to get it off your fingers. Oh you're yeah. Like, well, <laughs> can't you remove stuff with rubber cement? Like like you put rubber cement on the shit that's stuck to your hand, and then you like roll it around because it comes off, and then that takes at least the majority of stuff off. The best thing that I ever learned about I I don't know anything about that, but the best thing I learned about. <laughs> Was no comment on rubber cement. Remove, remover. Oh, totally. Shit fucks up your hands, yeah. sure. But if you're trying to get shit off of windows of cars and stuff, you could also uh, you could also pour gas or uh, not gasoline. <laughs> pour- <laughs> Light it on fire. Your problem's <laughs> so I was gone. Say, yeah, just, <laughs> <laughs> done. Um, well, you know they say when you when when something physical gets burned, that energy literally like dissipates so you know? you're talking if i just did a mad sick burn to you right now <laughs> I, I would feel the energy like it dissipate. would fill this room <laughs> would everyone die. would be angry <laughs> <laughs> now yeah that would be if if you did a mad sick burn but um but yeah if, if you pour uh rubbing alcohol on your hand and light it on fire you can generally like get something off that way too. <laughs> i've heard about that too i also um, saw this video of this guy you know the molten when they're making steel the molten oh, runoff i love it i could watch that for hours but the runoff that comes through and they like put it in big bins some dude i don't know who who decided to do this first mm-hmm. dude fu- he slaps it like he slaps the stream his hand goes straight through it the red hot and molten lava and he goes one two three four and he shows the camera and his hand is fine oh shit. and i was like See, one thing, I would never do that for fear of <laughs> of my hand burning off and for fear of, like, splashes in my eyes and stuff. Yeah, I mean, but any number of things. Apparently, but... there's, like, a layer of oxygen around your hand, so if you move it quick enough, you're not going to burn yourself. And I'm oh. like, that sounds like oh. something my older brother would tell me. To get you to burn. To get me to burn hand. my hand. <laughs> Don't worry, this icy hot on your armpit like won't it's, hurt. It's... It's aerodynamic and maybe creates enough of a, a pocket in the 
and the the lava is perhaps dense enough that you can. <laughs> I don't know. Or you could pull a bench warmers and just like hold it there out of <laughs> shit. <laughs> and he's holding the potato and it's burning his hand. Uh, uh. I always love the the little lies that people try to tell about themselves to make themselves more interesting at like high school slumber parties and stuff like that. <laughs> like, oh dude, I can withstand the cold. Watch, and then they like go outside and they're like, whoa, this is like really cold. Or they say like, I can withstand heat. Watch, you know, uh, I'll grab one of these potatoes right now. And they're like, oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> and they go home and they're like, shit. <laughs> shit, I'm a fucking retard. <laughs> but at least I'm cool for a second. Uh, I remember in Tucson, I don't know what it was, probably the fact that there was like no mountains around, but we were all like, I can jump really high. Like that. <laughs> that's, that's some pre-internet fun right there. <laughs> Seeing who can jump the highest. Oh my god. <laughs> You ever play with a stick for like an hour? <laughs> oh, she, that, that was my life yeah. back in the day. That's what I had. That and Nerf guns, man. Go outside and cut some zombies down and right. shoot the Grim Reaper in the right. face. So my uh, – in the, the house the, – the first house that my, my parents lived in, um, they had a bush in the front yard. And it was a – it was like a large enough Arizonan type bush that I could like go in one way and go out the other. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And so uh -huh. that was like base. You know? Yeah, totally. <laughs> um, yeah, my, uh, my grandparents had these two – Man, they were like awnings, but they were made out of sheet metal. Mm -hmm. So if you put them facing opposite directions um, and you kind of stagger them a little bit, you have a door on one side and a door on the other and in the mm. middle. Because it, it was just a weird kind of <clears throat> shape. It right. almost fit like a square dome. Um, but we would hide in there and like right and play games. That was Fort. That was Fort. <laughs> yeah. Playing Fort. Home it's like, base. Yes, we're in. What do we do now? Now let's now we should probably eat something and take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That'd be how that'd be how adults would pretend. <laughs> like I'm glad I didn't lose all of my imagination from when I was a kid, mm. but I feel like slowly over time it fades into I you know, I I was sort of struggling with that the other day because I I, I had a, a bit of writer's block uh, for whatever I was working on mm -hmm. and I was like, "Oh man, is my is my imagination going you know is it is my brain cementing into place is it becoming less elastic you know yeah uh so uh, off to google i went and it turns out that your imagination is like a muscle that you can like train so you gotta like oh. so things like visualization uh probably word disassociation uh -huh. um think things like um uh, free writing. They said uh, if, if you if you spend like five minutes or ten minutes a day free writing, that's you know it gets that part of your brain. You know, it's just sort of like keeping the plane in the middle of the uh -huh. the screen. You know, like if you start rapping, you're gonna get better at rapping. Because, Probably, yeah, you know. totally. Okay. Yeah, you know, I, I remember um, one of the old guitar players. Not not saying he's old, but one of the former guitar players <laughs> I played with, uh, Eric Blackmore. He used to say that that's the whole problem with the punk model is that if you do something long enough no matter how much you don't put into the technique of it mm -hmm. you're eventually going to get better really so like mm -hmm. the, the ramones before they all started dying off were like was like a solid rock concert <laughs> i don't know who the ramones are what <laughs> oh i just got the look i hate that i hate that there is so much stuff in the world there is so much media at this point in my life i'm never gonna get through it all of oh, course i'm not dude. gonna hear about bands that's so fucking hilarious um no i feel the same way about uh television shows and stuff like like i have i have a hard time like when Arrow first came out, I was like, "Yeah!" And I watched the first episode, and I was like, uh, 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 "Okay." I mean, it's it's you know, <laughs> it's like yeah. it's comic book related, so I'll keep watching it. And then I, they did the Flash crossover, and then I was like, "Oh my god, that's fucking that's what I want!" And so I started watching the Flash, uh -huh. and I liked that. And then from that came Supergirl, and I liked that. And from that came um, Legends of Tomorrow, and now they're getting ready to add Black Lightning. Yeah, and I'm just like, holy shit! I don't have time to watch all. I mean, that, that's uh, that's honestly why like you have to be. Like, you don't. Have I'm to on binge. the Marvel side of all that because I mm. watched Jessica Jones and I loved it because it have has David Tennant as the main. Uh, oh, dude! Villain. When he says, "Pick up that coffee, throw it in your face." Pick up that coffee. 
throw it in your face. Throw it in your face. <laughs> yeah. Ah. And, it, and it's like you think it's going to be like funny or like Doctor Who-ish and he just plays like the most sinister. He's an asshole. What is he? Pl- What's his name? Uh, Kilgrave. Dr. Kilgrave. But in the, in the comics there was a name. Like that villain had a name. Was it like the uh, Mr. Purple? or No, the Purple Man. Purple Man? I think it was the Purple. Because like, he wore purple? R- well, no. That was like a a callback to the comic books. Hmm. Yeah. No, he was he was damn good in that <clears throat> in that uh Jessica Jones was good. Um, uh and Iron, Iron Fist was fantastic. Re- you liked Iron Fist? I loved Iron uh, Oh no, 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 I'm sorry. Uh Luke Cage. Yeah. I I thought Iron Fist was fucking awful. Iron Fist, I'm I, I'm trying to get through. I gave I'm, up. I don't give a shit about Danny Rand. <laughs> I know. I I have to see Luke Cage, and I absolutely, beyond everything else, stop the show. I got to see Punisher. I haven't seen Punisher yet. I still haven't finished Punisher. I've seen about the first five episodes. I'm worried. Uh, Is it good? It's fucking brutal. It's great. It's <sighs> He's so the best good. Punisher. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know that down. cat's name, but... Oh, it's the dude from The Walking, Walking Dead. Dead. Rick, it, it's not. Is that who's that guy? From I'm gonna look him up. Yeah, totally. In the meantime, keep talking. No, he does. He does good things. Um, man, when I first saw that, what they were doing with Daredevil, I was like, this is some shit, dude. Um, well, I just Stick was always one of my favorite characters in the comic books because you know I was never huge into Daredevil, but I was. I never was not into Daredevil. If that yeah. makes sense. Uh, what's are right, you got? Uh, it? Um, the guy who plays Punisher's name is John Berthanol. John Berthanol. Berthanol. Burn Bernthal. John Bernthal. Yeah, that okay. sounds about right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> calling it. That's what that's what it's going to be to me for now on. Um, yeah, he does a great job as the Punisher. He was he was brutal, and I I love that. Um, it's still connected to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, um, but. I think one of them said they're not ever going to cross yeah. because uh, because of the swearing and the and the gritty, you know, more. I, I more just don't think they theme. can. No, um, but that's why we have Agents of Shield, which that was that was a decent show. I uh, I still need to watch the rest of it or catch all the way up. Did you ever watch that? I watched one episode once. Agents of Shield was pretty good. I mean, it's it's so light. You yeah, know, it, it, it was like they didn't have any uh, heroes or characters I really knew about, mm-hmm. and uh, so I didn't really care. There, there were enough Easter eggs to get me involved until I started liking the characters on the show. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, like, I, I like uh, Agent May. I think she's bad. At, the vo- the gal who played the voice of Mulan, she's cool when she, mm. kung, kung fu and people totally uh, playing into the Asian stereotype. It, of course. <laughs> Which is fine. I mean, like, it, it's cool. But um, <laughs> how many times do are we gonna see uh, Black Widow grapple and throw somebody to the ground with her vagina? It was <laughs> like, where she like leaps she wraps them yeah. around her with her legs and then throws them to the ground. I've, I, dude, I am such a Black Widow fan, though. <laughs> she's cool. No, she's amazing. But I feel like that's her go-to move. Yeah, when she jumps up and wraps the legs around and, and twists the. Or, is she a ki- yeah, she's a killer. She's an assassin. Yeah. Um, that's that's one thing they don't really address in the Marvel movies is that you've got lethal and non-lethal heroes just side by side. All of them are <laughs> lethal, actually. Are, oh, yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. Um, like, even Hulk kills people, of course. Uh, oh, well, that's, yeah. Iron Man started out that way. He wrecked a tank he, when he was in the, he first revealed his suit and he, like, Bam. dodges the tank missile yeah. in that little city. He kills them all. Uh, Captain America is a super soldier, so he takes out a bunch of people in yep. World War II. Yeah. I don't know well, if we see anything in the future. No, well, I think... Uh, no, I, I, I think that during the war, he was killing Nazis, because that's, that's one of that's the... That's okay. I was going to say, in cinema, that's one of the few sort of, like, accepted... Mer- that's why I, I play liked- Wolfenstein, I know. Yeah, I mean, well, that's like that's why Inglorious Bastards is so much fun, is because it's okay to want to have Nazis explode. And so that Hitler death scene is just fucking po- <laughs> poetry, you know? <laughs> oh, man, that's such a good movie. I love 100 that 100 Nazi scamps. Right. Brad Pitt was God, great. Was awful accent. Uh, Eli Roth. Um, was he the bear? Yeah, the yeah. bear Jew. 
the bear. Yeah, totally. There's Van de Kos bear. They say he's like eight feet tall or whatever. <laughs> he says a bat. My favorite quote from that movie is, uh, is um, fucking Brad Pitt's character trying in a Texan accent, in a German accent, to say... No, in an Italian accent. Arrivederci. Bueno, arrivederci. 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 <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, that's uh, that's something I never knew that I would like. Is Just when, killing Nazis? No, 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 no. When, uh, when all the heroes die. When I, all the... Oh, like as I, a I, cinematic experience. As, as, as a plot device. I never knew okay. that that was something that I would enjoy. Is when all... When when the mission gets accomplished, but it's like the great, the, the ultimate sacrifice, like, uh, spoilers. Uh, I know, you know, what's, you know, what pisses me off, Chase, what pisses you <laughs> off, Charlie <laughs> is these people on Facebook months later. They're like, Oh, spoilers. Don't fucking spoil <laughs> star Wars. Like, dude, if you haven't gotten your ass out to see star Wars in like the first month that it's out, you don't give a shit about star Wars. You're just fucking, you're doing that to be a, you're, you're, I don't know if if that would be called jumping on the bandwagon or mm-hmm. or if you, if that would just be called like I don't know there's this there's this kind of like school of fish thing that happens on Facebook you know what I mean yeah. where people people sort of decide to either go with it or not go with it and uh, there's really no in between yeah the whole like but when people started like when somebody I saw a meme that the first time I saw it for Force Awakens was like hey let's not spoil this for people that can't see it opening night i was like all right yeah, that's that's honorable you know you mm-hmm. maybe wait a week all well, fuck it all the way up to a month you wait a month to not spoil a movie um but then after that fuck you, <laughs> you <Yeah. know? laughs> well can, can, can we talk about one particular scene of the new star wars episode? oh we can, we can spoil the fuck out of star okay. wars <laughs> so spoilers out of the new star wars that Five, just came out four three two one the scene where they sh- where they um jump they they fucking um why why am i forgetting the word for space light light speed space oh, jump like hyper 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 jump, hyper jump yeah. whatever god i'm, I'm a nerd and i didn't speed. know hyper jump whatever um <laughs> well it ain't like crop uh, dust and crops as console. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that that one scene where it shoots off and hits snoke's ship and there's a flash and it's no silent sound. Oh. and I my jaw dropped. Me that too. was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And as like a person who wants to get into special effects and video mm-hmm. editing and person who wants to like animation and all of that, I was just like, I don't know how they did that yeah. so well. Uh, well, that that to me, uh, I mean, uh, it kind of it kind of made me uh, call back to when I saw the 2009 Star Trek, which it's weird that the the Star Trek reboot is going to be ten years old next year. That's fucking crazy. What? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. The Chris Pine Captain Kirk stuff is going to be ten years old next year. What the heck, dude? In a, in a blink of an eye, you know. But uh, so in that first movie, when the fir- when the Romulans first show up and they start blowing the fuck out of um uh. Uh, what's what was Captain Kirk's dad's name? Um, uh, uh, Chris I, Hemsworth. <laughs> Chris Hemsworth? Wasn't that him, or was that Liam, Liam Hemsworth? Hemsworth. I, I, I have was, no idea. I'm a Star Wars dude, not a not a Star Trek dude. Me, but me I saw too, it. Me too, for all intents and purposes. But but um, when somebody gets blown out the air, uh, like blown out the side of the ship, like uh-huh. it goes from like ah, bah, 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 panic, panic, panic. Lens flare, lens flare, lens flare, <laughs> yeah. lens flare. <laughs> and then, oh, yeah. then they get blown out the side of the ship, and it's really quiet for a second. I remember that being striking. Mm-hmm. Um, have you seen that video on YouTube? Somebody put together all the lens flares. <laughs> it's like, I haven't. It's like a 15, I think it's like a 15-minute long video, and it's just like. Seizure warning. That reminds me, I'm going to go see Excision in this upcoming weekend. You know who Excision is? Oh, the the dubstep artist. Yes. Uh huh. Does he does he the one with the giant robot cat? Is that him? Giant robot cat. Could be. He had a, a visual for a while that was mapped out to the to the, the music. Stage. Sounds like him. And um and it was a giant robot cat that was like it became activated and when the drop yeah happened 
So what he does is he has a new stage um, he's touring around the country with. It's called The Paradox. And I was reading about this. I'm just getting into EDM music right now, so I'm not going to pretend like I know everything. But this I love it. I love all of it, by the way. <laughs> this just fascinated the shit out of me. Apparently, it's made up of LED panels instead of projectors. Okay. And he carries his whole crew and all of this stuff in like three or four semi-trucks across the nation. Oh, my goodness. He sets it up. It has 12 configurations that he mm. can put this shit onto the stage so if he has a big venue he uses this configuration if he has a small one he uses this one and i'm sure he switches out some of the panels so that he has more or less it's viewable by all angles right on. and it has some of the best sound quality on the in the business right now right on but uh the thing is usually they do um mp3 files for their music and they're mixing up on the stage mm -hmm. and uh they have like a computer screen over to their right or left and they, they try and match up um, the visuals with the music. So mm. usually it's pretty simplistic or they have certain cues and buttons that they can use. This one he uses MP4 files. So meaning he has the music linked with the video. Mm -hmm. I was going to say they can talk to each other. But he's still mixing live on stage and that just blows my mind. Yeah. Like – to have everything so precise and to do it so well. Like, right. you can go and see these videos of the Paradox 2017, 2018 <clears throat> tour, and it just, I'm so excited. Yeah, I remember when uh, Iodo had the Lotus stage, and that was hot shit. And then, I mean, it got surpassed, you know, pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, to me, they're still one of my, my favorite acts. Um not necessarily to go see, but to like listen to after the fact because you can download like all their concerts for like 10, 10 bucks a pop or something, mm -hmm. or illegally. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go USA. Yeah. So, <laughs> but, so Yodo is the drummer from the String Cheese Incident and the percussion player from the String Cheese Incident. Okay. In Yodo, the percussion player plays drums and he's got a microphone that's. Uh, like a headset microphone that's going into a lemur touchpad thing. Uh -huh. Have you read about those? The lemur, lemur. thing. It's like no. a whole touchpad daw kind of thing. So he can like, is, is he's, it? so he's like, he'll be doing like, ha, ah, you know, like hype vocals and rapping and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And he can just reach over and like touch something and like send his voice like an octave up or make it auto tuned or something. Oh, like that. okay. It's like one of those little like, just a touchpad. Like it's, one of those. it's basically it's it's a mu like a DJ geared touchpad kind of thing. Gotcha. So he's he's doing that, and then the drummer is playing uh, keyboards, guitar, bass, congas, stuff like that, mm -hmm. and he's looping it via Ableton, and and so their whole show, it sounds like dubstep, break beats, house, trans. You know, it sounds like all the genres. Okay. But it's two guys improvising it live. What? So like he'll. He'll, um, right here. So he does it all with his voice? No, no, that's just one guy sort of adding one part. Oh, okay. We can, we can do a little audio a little reaction. Story. We did this, uh, on the, um, the Babs and, and Chuckles show. That's going to be the other podcast that I, that I'm doing with Brittany. Babs and Chuckles? Well, Is, are you Chuckles? Well, yeah, just for the title, but it's, um, it's going to be, it's going to be called the Four Finger, uh, podcast. Because she, uh, she's, she's had an accident. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> That's funny. and she's and she's cool as shit about it. <laughs> I'm glad um, she's cool as shit. I hate those people who get offended by it. I don't hate them, but I can understand it. Right. But you know. So no, but we did a sort of like an audio reaction to the the Dundee trail uh, teaser trailer, and so that that seemed to work out well. So oh, so check I, this out. I heard that gonna say i saw that but then i realized it was a podcast <laughs> right yeah we might make the jump to video or we might make the the four finger one strictly video just to have like variety because i kind of like the the talk show thing a lot less pressure to be interesting with your hands and your face yeah uh, you know although sometimes i feel my i feel myself going like this and i'm like oh that would that would add to the story you know it, it would definitely it would definitely make um i think trying to describe it is half the fun He's moving his hand He's in a circular motion. <laughs> He's trying to make a castle. There they go. How they do it. Doing Check a horrible this out. job. I'm 
So check this out. That's their Lotus stage right there. And it's, you know, Sick. all mapped out. Sick. All improvised okay. all the time. Let's get to them jamming. So they're they're just basically telling you how they do it, but there's the lemur. Oh, okay. It's just a big iPad. Kicking it. Which you can't hear, but when I press these keys, what? Uh, this pad down here. So they're just messing with it with a bunch of settings and stuff, but it's on a big iPad and it looks real fluid. I don't know if they actually do a performance there. John Wick Five. Fuck that ad. John Wick Five. <laughs> I hear they're making a third one. I still gotta watch those movies. Oh my god. I'll watch it right after this. So this they made they made all this music up and like looped it. So see he's, he's putting the bass down after he just added that in. And he's you know affecting his voice as they're going. Kinda sounds like tool or a perfect circle. Yeah. Oh, now it doesn't. Oh, what? Chaos Oh. <laughs> oh, that's slick. And then they go from there to like. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me, and I always love the type of music that they put in to um, 1990, late 1990s video games, like computer games. Yeah. Uh, Frank Kilpaki, Kil Kilplinski, Kil I think it's Kilpaki, mm -hmm. um, was a forerunner of that. He made Dune, he made, um, Command and Conquer music, Red Alert, was mm -hmm. probably the best. Did you say Dune or Doom? Dune. D-U-N-E. -E. Like the book? Yeah. Yeah, I've, I haven't played that one yet, um. That was an old, old, <clears throat> that was one of the original RTS games. See, when I, when I think video game music, uh, I think like 8-bit, like beep, boop, beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop, beep. I like that phase, yeah. but it's been done over yeah, these past few years. I was going to say it's already been revived, it, like, but I mean, you know, what's funny is I still like, not often, but every once in a while I'll go looking for like a full 8-bit mixtape kind of thing mm -hmm. just see if there's a dj out there that would uh that would literally just mix together a bunch and, and i the best one that i found was called nintendo 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 i can't remember which dj put it out this was back when the website pearson towers was still up and running uh -huh. and that was just like a mixtape social media site sort of before facebook was off and popping it was like a forum site, you know, like how Reddit is kind of set up. Yeah. But people would just share mixtapes, like from DJs and stuff in MP3 format, and then it would go to this database, and you could just download all these mixtapes, which I guess that's SoundCloud? what... SoundCloud? Mixcloud. That's what you do that for. Cause, well, Mixcloud is fucking cool because you can do uh, talk, podcasts, or you can do DJ mixes. Uh -huh. Like I, uh, you know, that, that asshole I sometimes work with, St. Bernard, he'll put upload his... DJ mixes onto Mixcloud, uh -huh. and they're they're uh, you can either input the track list or they'll like the the computer their AI will listen to your mix <clears throat> and generate the track list and then it'll send the right royalties where they need to go. That's really complicated. Well, well no, so, it, so basically, it sounds simple, but it also sounds like there's a lot of complicated things behind. Well, well not it. not real. I mean, basically, it's like. You can, if, if you're like, I just want to hear some hip hop and I don't care, I don't care particularly where it comes from. You can go to Mixcloud and type in like 90s hip hop or early 2000s hip hop. Okay. And then like all these like mixes from like local guys or international guys will pop up and you can't download anything, but you can stream them all. And so you can hmm. get your stream on and just sort of like have music going while you're doing whatever. <laughs> okay. And, uh, and the artists get paid. 
Whoa. So yeah, that's that. What? Yeah, I I, I, I want to get it. paid. I want to put some random <laughs> shit on there. I want to put quantity over quality. Well, so th <laughs> so that's that's when you'd have to register with like uh, ASCAP BMI. You know what I mean? So like if you're an art, like say say uh, you you uh, <laughs> you you put the uh, persona together like uh, xylophone nuts. It's like my rapper name is xylophone. <laughs> just throwing nuts. peanuts at a xylophone, <laughs> and it sounds great. And so you you put out an album, and somebody and, and you register you you register yourself with like a um, a Seska or an ASCAP or a BMI, and so all your albums you get. Caught like a uh, proper royalties and stuff like that. Uh huh. If if I or Saint Bernard <laughs> were to create a mix and uh, and use your song, and I were to include it in the track list, you would uh -huh. get your. I get my money. You you'd get your point five cents or get whatever. Get my money. That's money, dude. Yeah. Point five cents is, dude, is more I'm, than I make in a half I, a millisecond. You know, I've been on a couple of my old records are on Spotify. I got to get the new ones on there, but a couple of the old ones are up on Spotify. And um, you know, when people say shit like, "Man, I haven't seen a fucking dime from Spotify," it's like, well, you probably haven't even made like half a penny <laughs> yeah you know? yeah yeah it takes a while you can't just let it happen uh you know what i i tried to start uh doing i tried to because i downloaded spotify and i found out that people can follow your mixtape or uh -huh. your, your playlists to me it's a it's a compilation mix <laughs> but <laughs> people can follow your playlists okay. and so i started making playlists daily and uh, and then I stopped <laughs> because that was uh, not <laughs> as important as like keeping the the podcast up or whatever. Yeah, step two is going to be like getting a, a website where I can host this and generate an RSS feed so that I don't have to pay like Libsyn or Blueberry like nine dollars a month just to podcast. Yeah, that's Do another. You? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, I'm I'm, like, I'm strictly I'm strictly YouTube, SoundCloud, and Mixcloud right now, but um. I'm going to try and get on iTunes because I think you can do that for free some mm -hmm. way, somehow. There's like a, a backdoor thing with Google Drive or something like that. Um, okay, cool. And, and then I want, and, and then uh, getting the, the website up so that I can host my own shit. Um, the Charlie Milo website. God, yeah. that's going to be fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I, I, my only regrets is that I didn't. I didn't have the savvy or the know-how or the, the want to create a website or have somebody do it for me back in the nineties. Yeah. Like, did you know you can still go to the space jam <laughs> website? No shit. Yeah. That, that came up, that popped up on Facebook about a year and a half ago. Like you can uh, go to the 1998 back when it was like, we've got a website. Oh <laughs> you know? my God. And it's like dial on on your AOL device. Yeah. <laughs> How do I do that? I don't know. I'm over the I'm under the age of forty. Right. <laughs> Nina, Nina. <laughs> you know my Dude, fax machine at work makes that noise. Yeah. And every it's time I'm thinking that the man. world's gonna end. <laughs> and then it do, it doesn't it doesn't tell me if it worked or not. Right. It just kind of like stops, and then I'm like, okay, well I hope everybody <laughs> needed who needed that message got their got message. It, yeah. <laughs> so useless. Well. I think uh, I think that's a good note to end on, and uh, uh, I think we'll we'll go ahead and wrap it up on the the fax machine suck note. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Chase, <laughs> send me a fax about it. Maybe get, I'll get it. Maybe I won't. Get the fax out of here. That's <laughs> Show, me <laughs> Show me the car fax. Dude, uh, I I love the it's car fax, and their mascot is the car fox. Somewhere in there, somebody's gonna slip up and just straight up <laughs> car fucks. Show me the car fox. <laughs> Show me the car fox. There's just one digging into the seat, <laughs> 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 trying to bury himself. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure if you if you typed in uh, car, uh, accidentally did like speak ty speak to text and said car fox into Google. <laughs> <laughs> Show me the car. <laughs> that would be terrible. not what I wanted to see. Not what I want to see. Chase, thanks for coming on, buddy. All right, no problem, Charlie. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, not a problem. Let's say it together. We'll say I'm out of here on three. Three, two, one. I'm, I'm out of here. here. Bye. Bye. <laughs>